Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 19 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you some ideas on how to keep track of your exported images. Now, this episode was prompted by the previous episode, episode 18, when I gave some tips on how to export your images and I showed you how I do it. And one of the things I mentioned is after I export an image and I upload it to wherever I'm going to upload it or I print it, send it to a lab, whatever, when I'm done with it I delete it. And the reason I delete it is because I have it in my Lightroom library already. And there's no sense in taking up that disk space by saving that exported image. I could easily go into Lightroom and export it again if I need it. Well, a couple people emailed me and they mentioned that they upload their images to a number of different sites and they like to save them to folders for that site so they keep track of what they have where. For example, if they're uploading images to 500px on their computer after they upload it to 500px, they'll put it in a folder 500px. Similarly for Flickr, for Facebook, for whatever. They have a number of folders and that way they keep track of what they uploaded where. And they were asking me if there was a way they could keep track of it in Lightroom so they didn't have to take up all that disk space by saving those exported files. And there is. And I'm going to show you two different ways and I'm going to mention a third way. The third way is you would use what Lightroom calls published services and you can see it it's in the library module and you can see I have uh, Behance I think they pronounce it Facebook Flickr and it all says setup obviously I don't use these the reason why I don't use these I used to use 500 px uh, there was a published service for 500 px and it never worked right and I always had problems with it and I just didn't want the hassle of dealing with it so I never used it and as a matter of fact I deleted the plugin that uh, produced the published service for 500px. And after being online for now for 18 months and people emailing me questions and problems, I found that there is a lot of issues with published services for some people. Other people I'm sure it works great uh, and if it does keep using it. But for some they have problems uh, with the Flickr, 500px, with all of them. They don't seem to always um, do what you expect them to do. So what I would propose is you do one of these two things. And this first one I like better. Um, what we would do, I would export an image and typically I would upload it to 500px, Flickr, and or Facebook, or all of the three. And what I would do, although I don't do this, what I should do, is I should create a collection. So I have these photographs of my son's band. and let's say the first three photographs I'll select down here in this film strip down here and I'll select it by holding the command or control key in while clicking on them so let's say I sent these first three to 500 px what I would do is I would go up on this left panel and go to collections now this is in the library and the develop module so you could do it from either module and just click this little plus sign and we're gonna on the menu that pops up we're gonna use create collection and we're going to give it a name and I'll name it 500px. Simple as that. And I'm going to check include selected photos. We have these photos selected. I'm not going to make new virtual copies. Why bother? I don't need to really. Um, I'm not going to set it as a target collection. I'm not going to sync with Lightroom Mobile. Although you could if you use Lightroom Mobile. And that's something I should just mention real quick I've been getting a lot of requests to do videos on Lightroom Mobile and I'll be doing that very soon it'll be in my learn Lightroom 5 video series not in the Lightroom quick tips video series so all I want checked is include selected photos and I click create and you can see that I have this collection for 500 px and it's those three images it automatically will bring me to that collection as you can see I lost all the other images down here but that's easy enough to do I just go back up here to band and I have all the images there now let's say I a couple days later I uploaded this one uh, to 500 px all I have to do now is drag it into the collection just like that and it dragged it into the collection now let's say I sent these two to Flickr so I'm going to 
Uh, click on one, hold the command or control key in to click on the second one. I'll go to the plus and create a new collection. And we're going to call this Flickr. And as easy as that, it popped those two into that collection. Now, let's say, for the sake of argument, that this one was uploaded to 500px and Flickr. Well, if that's the case, all you have to do is select that one and drag it into the 500px, and it will be in both. You can see that it added five, but it did not take away the one from a uh, one from the two that are in Flickr. So it's in both. This specific image is in both of these collections, and you could do that all you want. Now, let's say you go to Flickr and you deleted some images from Flickr. Well, you could go in your Lightroom and you want to delete it from the collection. Make sure you're in the collection and not in the folder. And just right click on the image and you would go to remove photo or remove from collection. It's the second last choice here. And this will remove it from the collection, but it did not remove it from the hard drive. It's still on the hard drive. It's just not in that collection anymore. And that's one way you could just keep track of these things. Uh, if you have multiple upload sites, you know, 500px Flickr, your own website, Facebook, whatever. Uh, just make a collection and remember you could drag a file into multiple collections and you could uh, keep track of your files that way. Now an alternative way is you could color code them and what I would suggest you do is go to the library module and go up to metadata right here and go down to where it says color label set and you can see it has bridge default, Lightroom default, review status. We're going to go to edit and you can see it says red, yellow, and these are all the different colors. And these are the uh, quick keys to apply that color. So we would hit six when we're on an image, and that will make a, give it a red label. But what we're going to do is we're going to change these labels. So we're going to leave red, but I'm just going to add a dash, and I'm going to put 500px. Then I'm going to jump to this one, and I'll put flicker. Now this method, I should add, is better if you don't upload to a lot of different sites. It's better if you, let's say, only upload to two sites. So green will be 500px and Flickr. I think you get the drift, right? So we're going to stop there. So we have these color combinations now. We'll click Change. Now when I'm on an, an image, let's say I sent this one to uh, 500 px I would hit 6. So you could see down here at the bottom it flashed where it went. So I sent this one to Flickr so I'm gonna hit 7. You could see yellow Flickr. And the next one here let's say I sent that to both. We're gonna hit 8. 500 px and Flickr. And you could see they're lightly colored around the borders here with your color code. So as long as you remember your color code, you could just color code them. That way you don't have to drag them up into a collection. But as I mentioned, it's that method's a little better if you're not uploading it to a lot of different sites. So one thing I should add I didn't mention, when you do drag images into a collection, you're not creating another copy of the image. It's just putting basically the name of the image in the collection. So you're not wasting disk space by having two copies. The, the actual image is still in your folder on your drive. The collection just has the name of the image and it references back to that folder. So I hope that made sense. So I hope this helps some people who want to sort their exported images. Remember, if you're a little confused what I'm talking about, watch episode 18 of Lightroom Quick Tips where I show how I export images and I mention how I export them the way I do and why I delete them after I'm done with them. All right, that's it. I'd like to thank everyone for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you have not already, could you please subscribe to my YouTube channel? All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.